If you spend your time with a girl who's smart and busy, your life takes you in unexpected directions. First, she'll ask you to go to a lecture at the university because she's smart. And second, she'll bail at the last minute because she's busy. That's how I ended up all by myself at a talk about honeybees. And it was terrifying. Here's the problem. Bees are dying. And not just one at a time, but by the thousands. It's called colony collapse disorder. And like a lot of things these days, it's our fault. For some reason, we love green rectangles. And in order to make more and more and more of them, we're mowing, spraying, and monoculturing the entire planet, which is like kicking the bees in the stomach and destroying everything they eat. After we're done, they're so beat up and hungry, they get aliens in their guts, tick-like things on their backs, and parasites in their brains. If you're looking for a good idea for a horror movie, spend a day in a bee colony. And believe me, this is about more than just big, sad bee eyes. Here are some of the food choices we have for breakfast. Notice the juice and coffee and fruit and milk and almonds. If we kill all the bees, the menu would look like this. Any takers? There are so many problems in the world. Sometimes I feel like that old guy at the bus stop who only knows one word. Meh. Well, you know what, old guy at the bus stop? Enough of the bah humbugging. Making changes isn't that hard. We could start by easing up on the whole green rectangle thing, mow less, plant some flowers, and stop spraying everything that moves. If nothing else, we'd have more free time to go to lectures. Speaking of which, I'm now going to finish my solo date night by eating both desserts ice cream and fresh fruit. The bees work too hard on this stuff to let it go to waste. Hooray for busy girls.